the fact that your mother ignores your boundaries, which by the way, it's not the boundaries that are healthy, it's the setting of the boundaries that is healthy, right? And there are different ways to do that. Somebody who disrespects and ignores boundaries is going to continue that pattern of behavior. And I'll take it a step further. Because it is such a toxic trait to do that, chances are they're weaponizing those boundaries, creating anxiety for you, and therefore using them as a way to emotionally hurt and control you. So what do you do in that situation? Well, you have to change the rules of engagement. Setting boundaries obviously doesn't work with this person. So have those boundaries as an internal boundary. For example, let's say your mother is disrespectful of your time, calling you 16 times a day, doesn't care if you're working, what you're doing, and then you know chewing you out when you don't answer all 16 times or text messaging, whatever. During the hours that you need that peace and focus and space, you block the phone number. That's it, that's all. You don't engage, you don't respond. If you can't block them on everything, you know, because sometimes there's work emails and whatever, then you don't read them, you don't engage, you don't respond. And then when you finally have that opportunity, I don't mean finally, but when you have the opportunity or the bandwidth to engage and they start to go off on you, say, I can see why you feel that way and I'm here now, and then move along. But, 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 I can see why you feel that way. What would you like? What is it that you need? That's it, that's all. The only thing that you can do with a person who habitually crosses boundaries is change the rules of engagement or not engage at all.